Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power Apps. So in this video, we will be seeing how we can create the tic tac toy game in Power Apps, as this is the most demanding game in any other language. So now the time to get it introduced in our Power Apps. So I'm not doing this from the scratch because it makes this video longer in size. So just I just try to explain each and every step of mine in terms of presentation and in the development section. So I'm just navigating to my presentation here only. So yes, so this TikTok toy game, we have involved some concept that is collection, variable, timer, function, and button. So as you can see, we haven't add any type of data source. Only collection is whatever collection we have introduced in our Power Apps. We have used that only variables in order to store some values, timer in order to call any function again and again, function in order to make any type of work to be done and button just to capture the user's interaction okay so first we'll discuss about the collections so i have used collection that is initial stage collection and winning possibilities initial stage collection is a collection that is taking care of all nine boxes we have we have added in our tech tech toy game okay so that collection is having only two columns one is a box number another one is whether that box is pressed whether that uh, button is already pressed or not okay another collection is the winning possibilities winning possibility is the connection collection that is storing all type of possibilities from which the user or the system can win the match okay let's say it is having one column that is a logic another co another column is not as the column it's a complete table that is the sequence box so if logic one is there it means box number one box number two and box number three belongs to one user it means user has selected box one box two and box three then only the user will be win okay so that's the we have covered all the scenarios where the where all the possibility of winning match win the match okay so next we'll go with the collection another collection that is the user collection box so user collection box is the collection box in which we'll storing only those boxes which are pressed by the user okay let's say user is clicking any button from one to nine let's say five so five would be storing in the user collection box another collection is the user winning possibility so that collection is taking values from our previous collection from the winning possibilities collection okay so let's say user has clicked five so user collection possibilities collection will take data from winning possibility and it will search in which record five is present so you can see that five is present in the third logic number and it is present in the fourth and in fifth and in sixth in four collection boxes in four logics uh, three four five and six so at a time our winning possibilities would, would look like this it will give you true as whether that particular number is present in the collection in the user's collection or not okay and if false is there it means that that number has not pressed by the by the user okay now another collection is the count user winning possibility so it is the same as user winning possibility but it is also counting the number of true buttons means the buttons that have that user has clicked okay let's say let's take an example of well, let's go to the winning possibility first let's take a uh, logic of three in the logic of three you can see in the sequence box one five and nine is there if the user has selected nine at the at the place of nine it would be true if the user has selected one as well at the at place of one it would be true so at the five at the mid it would be false so our true count would be two user needs to click user need to make that true count to be three in order to make in order to win the match okay so the same is for system system collection box where they, it will store only those values that are generated that are stored by the system okay same system winning possibilities count system winning possibilities so this uh, these three collection is take care if the user is lost in the match and these collections boxes are are used to make the user to win the match okay so now i'm just navigating you to my canvas editor Okay, how I have implemented that thing in our Power Apps. So, 
here is my canvas editor so here it is uh, just take care of uh, this game is in between first screen 3 and the screen 1 okay so here you can see this is nothing just some labels I've just tried to make some th this view a little better okay so this is nothing just labels this is a pick normal text one thing and this is a button okay and you need to go for the app on start properties because that is the place where we will initialize each and everything each variable each collections okay we will just expand the formula bar and see see this is the initial collection initial collection state so where it will store all the values all the all the boxes that are whether they are pressed or not okay now we'll, if we scroll down I can see there is one more collection that is the winning possibilities that collection is taking care of all the possible all the possibilities to win the match okay let's say for the logic one sequence is one two three that's how okay and in addition to that I have used some collections so I have initialized them here only this clear collection clear 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 all collections now we'll simply go to the start button and here is the complete collection box now if I expand it here you can see there is a board this board is nothing just a just some buttons as the complete tiktok pro game have nine buttons so I have added nine buttons here let's say take an example of one button for the first one let's see what is written there in the on select properties just expand it and see what is in there it is patching initial stage collection lookup initial stage collection box number one is pressed true it means what is doing if the user is clicking on this button at the time it simply go to the initial stage collection and make that is pressed value to be true by default its value is false okay in the initial is its value is false is pressed column value is false but whenever the user click on that button its value become true okay now another condition is if user turn it's a variable we have added if user turn means if this is a boolean variable we have used to check whether it's the user's turn to uh, select any box or the, it's the system's turn to select any box okay if it is the user's turn then it's simply storing data storing one in the user collection box because we are select because we are clicking on the first button that's why it is we have given this hard code as one okay for different boxes this number would be different for the second box it would be two for the third box it would be three so that's how we are doing this again we go back and we can see now we have changed this to is user turn to false because once the user has clicked on the button now it's the system's turn to select any button any any box okay so that's why we make this variable as false okay after that we have used one clear collect user winning possibilities so as you have remembered we have used this win user winning possibilities that is take, taking values from the winning possibilities collection and integrating that to, to the different possibilities okay so I'm just taking you to that collection okay so here is our user winning possibilities so this values is coming from winning possibilities okay if the user if suppose one is stored in the user collection box it will search in the winning possibilities that in which logic in which sequence box one is present so it will search logic one logic three and yeah one is present on in only two in only two yeah in three logics logic one logic two and logic three in all three logics sequence box one is present if the user is selecting one then in the user winning possibilities true would be coming in the first three like that it is already in the screenshot okay so that's how we have 
store that values in the user winning password is and then we have read this condition we have write this code for this okay after that we have again called one more we have created one more collection that is doing nothing just it just adding one more column to the user winning possibilities the true count and that true count will find how many trues are there for a particular possibilities okay if that true value is three then you can then the user will win the match okay so here you can see the two true as there are that's why it is giving you two if one is there in and it will give you one okay so if three is there it means user has already won the match that's how we have done and for that thing you can just use this code i have added this code to make that true count to calculate this true count value after that once the user has clicked on that button we have added one timer here as well just go to the timer i have uh, make it invisible now just go to the timers property and see it's it will start when the is user turn is equals to false means if that turn now comes to the system's hand so at the time it the is user turn become false and the not will give you true and and is empty it is also checking whether all the initial stage collection box is having any box that is having false as a output okay so if it is there then only it will start that our timer and my timer is of very short length it's around uh, 50 milliseconds okay now we'll go to the timers on timer end on the timer end i'm searching whether i'm just changing the variable is user turn to true and resetting the timer and after that i'm just you creating any number i'm just generating any random number and that random number will generate number and it will search whether that uh, generated number it will search that number in the initial stage collection box and find whether that number whether the generated number has is pressed value false or not if that is if that particular box is already pressed then it will again call that function it will again start the timer and again generate the number if that again generated number is not pressed then it will store that particular number to the system collection box okay you can use the complete code you can take the screenshot okay of it from the video use the complete code and it is doing the same so we have used here the complete while loop with the break statement and the system and it will break when the system when the generated number is not equals to the if the generated number is not present in the in either in the user collection or in the system collection box okay after that what we have done we have changed it we have changed the condition for the winning possibilities okay so here you can see i have used one label and that label is counting values is empty it is searching first for the use count user winning possibilities it is searching whether the true count in in count user winning possibilities collection is three if any one if i come back to the collection if here you can see if any record has three value as true count as three then the user has win the match and if the same is for the system count winning possibility then the user has loss okay so that's how it is working so i'm just giving one demo of this let's say zero user has clicked here and system is clicked there so here you can see system is smart enough so as this collection is belongs to the users now it has given you win okay so that's how our complete tiktok toy game is working you can pause the video at any time and you can use the complete code to make your application work okay so thank you everyone for watching this video